This one, I have the boys all up in the yard asking about your milkshake, okay? Bitch, I got on something and I want you to know what it is. So ask me what I'm wearing. <laughs> I'm trying so hard. I want to smell, you know, grown woman. I don't want to smell 12. Hey y'all, Denisha Tia here, coming back with another video. If you are new to the game, please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you are a returning subscriber, hey! So today we gonna get into smell goods. I've always been into perfumes growing up, but just recently I've decided to up my smell good game. And so I have a few summer scents that I've been trying out that I finally wanna share with y'all. So I got a few here that I'ma show y'all real quick. If you guys like my makeup look i do have a get ready with me that i should already be up on my channel by now so if you haven't watched it already pause this video but come back and go watch the get ready with me where i show you guys this makeup look and show you my cute little two-piece set go ahead watch that right now so I spent a little coin on some goodies to show you guys what I'm smelling like this summer. We're going to jump right into this. And if I'm looking down, it's because I'm going to have my iPad right here with all the, you know, notes. All of my scents that I have with me are Ardu Parfums. Most of them are gender neutral, but a few of them do smell really sweet. I'm just putting that out there right now. Right off the bat, we're going to start with this Paco Rabanne. This is the 1 million Lucky. And it has scents of tart plum, hazelnut, and it also has patchouli and white cedar wood. Let me let me tell you about your boy right here. And we're gonna say boy because technically this is a cologne. But wait a minute though, okay? Because this right here, this is that guy, okay? So I used to work at this club and every time I worked with this girl, she'd always come in smelling so good. So I finally asked her like, what is that you're wearing? And she told me it was this right here. So like I said, it's a cologne, but hear me out though, okay? It smells so clean, but it's also sweet with the hazelnut finish. So it's very masculine, but it's a soft masculine. So it gives you very much, I'm up in this bitch, you know? So I like to use this one when I go out at night to get the heads turning. I did purchase this one from Sephora. And with Sephora, when you purchase, you know, a certain amount, they give you little testers. So they gave me a little tester of this Burberry Her. It smells very good, very sweet. It has notes of white woody accords and it has red and dark berry notes. So it's very sweet, very soft, very feminine. When I'm going out at night with my girls, I like to use this one. Going right in with the Parfum de Marley that I got from Neiman Marcus. And we're not even gonna talk about the service that I got from Neiman Marcus. Trash, okay? I will never actually shop there again. I don't even know if I wanna shop online because the service was garbage, okay? But that's another story for another time. This is the Parfum de Marley brand and the scent Delina. I did pick up the hair mist in this one because I wanted to start layering my scents. So top three tips that I have for getting a scent to last all day is one, washing it. So any type of soap or body wash to carry over a scent that you're already wearing. The Ardu Parfum, so the actual perfume cologne that you spray on. And three, any type of body oil or body cream or hair mist to help elongate the scent that you're wearing all day. Like I said, Parfum de Mali in the scent de Lina. Top notes of lychee, pear, bergamot. Heart notes, Turkish rose and peony, and then those base notes of white musk and softwood. So this is definitely a scent that lasts all day. 
honestly it's very fresh very very sweet so this is good for daytime or nighttime i usually wear this at night and i honestly like to pair it with the burberry herd that i was talking about they complement each other very well with the sweet musky tones so it's giving very much date night. It's giving very much out with the girls, nice dinner, dress up. They're gonna smell you when you come into the room. Definitely very much so. And last but not least, I did go to buy Rito while I was at Nima Marcus. Where I stay, we don't have high-end department stores. So all of these I had to purchase while I was out of state and I'm not trying to spend $200 on a perfume that I don't even know that I'm going to like. So while I was down there, I did smell a few of them. So once I got home, okay, sorry y'all, fucking battery died. I did go down and order a little scent sample collection while I was there. I did smell some of their scents. So I did come back and I actually ordered a sample scent collection. And the three scents that I got were Mauve Ghost, Gypsy Water, and Black Saffron. These are the three that I liked the most out of all of what I smelled while I was there. And so we're just going to run down from the top of what all of these smell like. All of the scents from Byredo are gender neutral. All of them are vegan and all of them have woody tones. What I like to go for when I look for perfumes that I really like are more clean scents, musk, or vanilla. So really soft and sweet. I wanna smell, you know, grown woman. I don't wanna smell 12, you know? <laughs> like, don't get me wrong though, those super sweet scents, they, I use them now as carriers for my big scents, but, if you ever come in contact with me, what you're really gonna smell is you're gonna smell clean, musk. Okay, hold on. Let's not say that like that, but <laughs> you y'all get what I'm trying to say, okay? Y'all y'all get it, y'all get it. The girls that get it, get it, and the girls that don't, don't. But yeah, anyways, so from the top, we are going to start with gypsy water. The, this has top notes of bergamot, juniper berries, lemon, and pepper. <sighs> Mid notes of incense and pine needle, and base notes of amber, sandalwood, and vanilla. So when I first smelled gypsy water, I, I ain't even much gonna lie, I did not like it. This is one of the scents that had to really grow on me, but now that I've gotten to wear it, let it, you know, marry with my chemistry on my body, I understand the hype around it. I really do. I'm not, I'm not even gonna hold you. It's giving like mom, but like cool mom vibes. It's very, very light. It's very clean. And it's that the vanilla, the vanilla and the sandalwood is what be getting me in these scents. Like that's what I'm drawn to because I like to smell natural, earthy, but I also want you to know like, bitch, I got on something and I want you to know what it is. So ask me what I'm wearing. <laughs> so I really like gypsy water. And so next up, we're gonna go in with Mauve Ghost. It has top notes of ambrette and nestberry, middle notes of magnolia, sandalwood, and violet, and base notes of cedarwood, musk, and vetir. So when I think of Mauve Ghost, I think of floral and really what i smell is the magnolia is it mauve ghost i'm, I'm look y'all i'm just gonna say mauve ghost it might be more dove. i don't know but what i'm calling it is mauve ghost so what i smell definitely the magnolia this is definitely giving very floral very clean very light so something that i would wear to the park to the beach 
out to a picnic with friends or with your beau, um, that's definitely something I would go for with Mauve Ghost. And the last one that I picked up in the sample selection is Black Saffron. This one has top notes of juniper berries, pomelo, saffron, middle notes of black violet, crystal rose, accord croix, and base notes of blonde woods, raspberry, and that vetir. So what I smell with black saffron is, again, very clean, very light, very fresh. Most of these scents that I got from by Rito are on the light, clean, fresh side. So those are scents that I'll definitely wear mainly during the day with the exception of maybe gypsy water that I might wear at night sometimes. But most of these are definitely giving very much out with friends daytime scents or very very good layering scents you can definitely pair these really well with any of these heavier more sweet musky scents but it's definitely a go for burrito <laughs> i ain't even gonna lie burrito also has where if you spend a certain amount they'll give you a couple samples i got two from burrito one is in Blanche or Blanche or however you want to call it. And the other one is in Vanilla Antique. It's Blanche. This one has top notes of Rose, Centifolia, middle notes of Peony and Violet, and base notes of Musk and Sandalwood. I feel like between this one and Mauve Ghost, this one is definitely lighter for me. Like this one is something that I might wear to bed because it's so light. Like it's, it gives very much refreshing. It gives, I woke up like this. Let me tell y'all though about this baby right here. This Vanilla Antique. It has top notes of Freesia and Plum, middle notes of Amber and Cashmere Woods and base notes of Madagascar vanilla and citrus oil. Not citrus, citrus oil. Honestly, out of all these little sample packs up here, this is probably the one that I'm actually going to purchase first. When I tell y'all, this is that girl. This is that girl. I don't know if y'all can tell how much I've used out of this little sample bottle, but baby girl baby girl gets the job done this one right here this one i have the boys all up in the yard asking about your milkshake okay i am not even gonna hold you this to me embodies everything that i look for in a scent like it's the musk, the cashmere woods, it's the sweetness from the Madagascar vanilla, it's the top light notes from the Citius oil. Honestly, when I'm going out at night, whether it be with the girls, whether it be with my man, whether it be for family dinners, this is the one that I've been grabbing. Like this right here is that girl. And let me put you up on game. If you really want to make the heads turn, do this one and this one. Okay, like these two together are a force to be reckoned with. I'm not even gonna hold you. The only thing I would say is once you spray this on, I would do only a few sprays, a few sprays of this one because these two together can get overpowering really fast but they hit. But that is all that I have today. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to another video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If there is anything that y'all would like to start seeing from me, don't be shy. Like, I see y'all watching my videos, but y'all not coming. It's okay though, but not really though. Y'all should start liking, commenting, and subscribing. But thank you guys so much again for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe on this video. And check out some of my other videos. They're really good. This is not all that I am. I promise. But I will see y'all in the next video. Bye. Nah, for real. Like, comment, and subscribe on this video. That will help you girl out.
It really would. Thanks.